All right, so we are live on Facebook. Yay. So yay, we got it together, guys. I'm sorry about the delay. It seems like I run into issues week after week. <laughs> and it, it, it's it's just like, you know, technology is supposed to be super amazing and yet it really isn't. It is um, until <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, Ashlyn Ray, thank you for joining us here on the Monica S. Martinez Live. We appreciate you coming. Thank You're you so for cute. having me. <laughs> You're so cute. So um, really quickly, uh, can you just let our people know who you are and what you do and all that fun stuff? Okay, awesome. So I'm really excited. I'm so excited to be here. I've been telling everybody I'm talking about sex tonight. <laughs> but I'm Ashley Ray. I am the bullshit bully and the ringleader of the Brown Girls Billionaire Gang. And what I do is I organize and create, organize, and monetize movements for socialpreneurs. Um, and I have a educational multimedia platform for brown girls in business. So that's essentially what I do outside of entertaining and talking shit. <laughs> nice. Absolutely. So wait, so what kind of shit do we talk? <laughs> well, mostly it's like get off your ass and do something. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm game for just about anything. <laughs> So you are aware that, you know, you are on a sex yeah, show? Yeah, girl, yes. I've been, <laughs> I've been telling people, like, I'm talking about sex tonight. And they're like, what? <laughs> Excellent. Well, um, I just want to um, tell our viewers that if they have questions, they can kind of inbox us here in the little chat. So we have Elaine that she's saying, hi, girls. Hey. So we just Say hey, Lane. Thanks for joining us. And again, um, I just want to shout out to everyone who has been supportive throughout the issues week after week. I, I really, 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 truly appreciate you guys more than you'll ever know. <laughs> so, <Ashlyn. Yes. laughs> so, all right. So, I see your little sign back there that says, like a boss. Yes, it sounds like a boss, yes. <laughs> I love it, I love it. So give us an example of your shit talking before we start talking my shit. <laughs> okay, all right, so um, I'm just like, I'm just one of those people who I'm not like a big person on excuses, which is how I got the name Bullshit Bully. Like I will call you on your shit in a fucking minute. Uh -huh. Um, but what that requires of me, though, is for me to like walk, live and breathe that. Right. So I have to be the example. So I have to call myself on my shit, too. Right. Um, and it's, it's a lot of self-evaluation and awareness and like, you know, just kicking my own ass. Um, but essentially, I just feel like everybody has all this potential. And, you know, at first we think that we have to compartmentalize, you know, and you're really good at this one thing, maybe at work or you're a really good mom or you're really good this or that. And I feel like there's so much more for us to for us to experience life and for us to enjoy. And you kind of have to, like, delve into all these areas of yourself that you may or may not want to deal with. <laughs> in order for you to really experience life. So when I when I say I talk shit, it's because I feel like I've earned the right to talk shit because I've peeled back like a hundred fucking layers, you know, <laughs> like, mm -hmm. <laughs> of like a fuckery and literally just looking yourself in the mirror and saying, okay, you know, you're full of shit. What's up? You know, so, um, but I also like to have a lot of fun. I love, love, love to have fun. I love to laugh. And so it was really funny. Somebody goes, so what are you guys going to be talking about in the interview? And I'm like, I don't know. Whatever she asked me, I don't give a shit, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, so basically in, in essence, you, you pretty much like empower women in a sense, right? Because it's yes. like, get off of your behind, yes. do something. So, is that where we're at? Yes. Am um, I, right? I love to consider, so if, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be like, I, I have to be honest. I hate the word empowerment. And the only reason for that is because empowerment is like 
somebody has to tell you it's okay, you know? And it's like, you already have the permission in yourself. If you just shut up and listen, you will know what you're about instead of like trying to mimic all these other people. But I do understand where it comes from and I'm guilty of using it before in the past, so whatever. Um, but I really like to just think of myself as a person who inspires people to take action. That's That's pretty much what it boils down to. Nice, very yeah. nice. Um, <laughs> everyone's cracking up over here. They're like, I'm, a to really love it. I'm always like completely ecstatic when someone lets me speak on their platform. I'm like, have they heard me talk in real life? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, hey, we talk about sex here, so I mean, we we definitely want you to be authentic and genuine, and you. So we're not asking you to you know censor anything here. <laughs> Absolutely not, because it, it, it it's gonna get like really real in a few, so, oh yeah. Oh my God, yeah, is watching, they're about to see the whole other side, like. <laughs> well, listen, you know, you know, sex is a good thing, you know? Uh, healthy, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I believe in orgasms, you know, so. <laughs> um, other, you know, I saw this thing about, um, Nicki Minaj put something on, it was some magazine like years ago. And she's like, of course I'm going to come. What's the fucking point if I don't? And I read that and I was like, yes, exactly. Like <laughs> they always get to find exactly. me out. <laughs> exactly. So did I, did I hear you say something about you entertain? Um, entertaining as in I just like to make people laugh and like, you know, whatever. Um, I don't like entertain. <laughs> Oh, so not real entertain like Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Not that I'm opposed, however, just not my lane. <laughs> <laughs> not my lane either. I don't entertain. I mean, I, this is this is. I mean, to a certain degree. I mean, I do poetry and that kind of stuff. But right. like, you know, pole dancing. I'm not good at yet. <laughs> the are brutal. Like. <laughs> So how, do you, are you like, are you performing anywhere? Is there, you know, a place where people can find you? Um, so I just pretty much hang out in the Trap House, which is the name of my free Facebook group. <laughs> it's Trap House. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love yes, it. It's the official trap house for brown girls in business. So that's our hangout. Um, then there's brown girls being their page. And then there's just me, um, Ashlyn Ray, the, the Facebook profile. Um, but, oh, thank you. These are my favorite glasses. My baby sister got them for me for Christmas last year, and I haven't stopped wearing them. <laughs> um, but I speak. I do, like, speaking engagements and stuff. And I host my own things, and I speak for other people. So that's about the extent of it, though. So can you just give everyone, um, cause there are more people joining us uh, via YouTube and uh, Facebook Live. So could you just give uh, your information out one more time, the name of your organization and all that fun stuff? Sure, sure, sure. So I'm Ashley Ray, I'm the Bullshit Bully and the ringleader of the Brown Girls Billionaire Gang. Um, I basically run a multimedia and educational platform for Brown Girls in Business. Um, we hang out in the official trap house of Brown Girls in Business on Facebook. Um, you can find me at Brown Girls Billionaire Gang on Instagram. And my profile is Ashlyn Ray. I have so much shenanigans and fuckery on my personal profile. It's so fun. Um, I love to make people laugh and I like to call you on your shit. So if you're down with that, then girl, find me. <laughs> So where are you from? Where are you located? I am from, so I live in um, the Tidewater area, like Virginia Beach, Norfolk area of, of, uh, of Virginia. I'm from Washington, D.C. That's where I was born. And I was there until I was in grade school. And then I headed on down to Virginia. I've lived a lot of places, but this is where I'm from. Very nice. I actually have um, some family out over there that way. Oh, do you really? So, I do. Um, my older sister is out there, uh, Raquel. So she lives in um, Virginia Beach. Oh, okay, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I have some family in Norfolk too, so yeah. Oh, so you know my area. What's up? Okay. I do, I do. I've driven over there several, several, several times. Several, several. <laughs> <laughs> so question are you in a relationship i am not in a relationship i am not 
<laughs> How come? Um, so I find that at first it was like, okay, so I think that I'm a little bit too much. <laughs> I think I'm a handful, like two handfuls. Um, so I noticed that before I fully accepted who I was and really just understood Ashlyn Ray, um, I think I was easier to get along with. And I think as the years have gone by, like I know what I want and I know what I don't want. And so it's it's harder to like fill that position. And the couple of guys that I've come across in the last I guess a couple years or whatever um, are they couldn't put up with like, cause I'm in the limelight a lot. I have a lot of people who need me. I speak a lot. A lot of people know me and I didn't have enough attention for my business. At least this is my last relationship. I didn't have enough attention for my business as well as for him. He was used to somebody who kind of like caters to him. So he was like, I can't do this. And he's gone. And then the guy before that, we were in like this casual relationship which was really awesome. And he was like my best, best friend. And um, it, it went, wouldn't go bad. It didn't go bad at all. Like we just decided it wasn't going to work. But the reason for that is because he found someone who was like more or less a friend and more like, I guess, like submissive and like girlfriendy, whatever that means. And so <laughs> I don't know what that means exactly, but I'm just going to use that term. And so it just didn't work. So like right now I have this guy that I, we, we're like just now meeting each other um, within the last month or so, but I, I like them, but I'm just kind of like, uh. most of them don't make it past three weeks. So we'll see where this goes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, so are you opposed to masturbating? No, that, okay. So let me tell you <laughs> I used to, um, I don't know if you're familiar with Pure Romance, but um, mm -hmm. I used to be a Pure Romance consultant, so I sold sex toys, and I have mm -hmm. a fuck ton of inventory left, <laughs> and so whenever the batteries die, I just get like a new one, <laughs> whatever. Okay, so then yeah. you, you take us right into our next point. Um, so then, you know, we wanted to know what your take was on as far as using toys in the relationship and in the bedroom. So alone, I think they're awesome. And after a while, I wish I had arms and legs. I'm not going to lie. However, in the bedroom, I think they're really interesting because it just throws in the extra dynamic. I don't ever want to be boring. Um, I do know that like that connection, because like, you know how you can like have sex with somebody and it's like, Meh. like I got my rocks off, I was drunk, whatever. But then you have that person that it doesn't matter. Like it's the just being around the person it puts you in that in that mood and so i think mm -hmm. the toys just add like that different dynamic to it the funny thing is though i find a lot of guys are not really open to it it depends on what kind of guy you have yeah well i mean you know some men just feel like it, it, they don't need it um and that's fine and dandy however you know, like you said, it can, it definitely enhances the relationship. It enhances the dynamics, and not to mention, it helps us last a little longer, right? So the foreplay can end up being a good twenty or so minutes. Yeah. What Absolutely. was your favorite, What was your favorite toy? Oh, my favorite toy is, um, okay, so here's my thing. Like, oh my God, all of the world is listening right now. Well, not all of the world, but our, all of our six people. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think for me, unless they're like Don motherfucking Juan, <laughs> um, I need a toy that has clitoral stimulation while I'm like having intercourse. Like that's the best thing for me. Like the, the dual action situation. Um, mm -hmm. But... I don't know. I think they're all interesting. They have their own little dynamic. But if I like, had to just pick one and go onto like the Love Boat Island, I'd be like, get the butterfly, motherfucker, and let's do this thing. Like, <laughs> you know, actually, um, my favorite toy is aside from the bullet because you know the bullet just helps you ejaculate like relatively quickly. Um, the pearl butterfly. Do you know the pearl butterfly? What is the fuck is the pearl butterfly? Must the pearl, me. <laughs> the pearl butterfly is um, you know, a penis, but it has a butterfly that 
lands onto the vagina and the clitoris. So the tentacles. So is that the clitoris? Yes. So, so not only will it do provide the insertion, but it also provides the top stimulation as oh well. Yeah, it's super amazing. Um, and it has the pearl beads in it, so they rotate. So they rotate know. head, girl. Yes. So aside from the bullet, that's definitely my thing. Um, we uh, we we're, we are a toy business as well. Um, tantalizing, yeah, tantalizing productions. Um, so we believe in happy coming. Hells yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because everybody should be orgasming as far as I'm concerned, you know, orgasm yeah. after orgasm. So, Ashton, you are just so cute. <laughs> Thanks, went to no one, Huntsy. <laughs> <laughs> um, we had some more people like log on and log back off onto the YouTube channel. So if you don't mind, could you just go ahead and just give a website where you can be found? Because I kind of want to just keep, you know, letting people yeah, know yeah, where yeah. they can get you. On www.browngirlsbillionairegang.com. Um, I have a slew of articles and my take on shit because I feel like my opinion is so fucking important. And <laughs> <laughs> um, but we have actually we have guest writers and um, other people who contribute as well. So that's definitely a way to get well rounded. Um, I actually kind of use my Facebook page, Ashlyn Ray R A E, uh, as a kind of like it's just like Ashlyn's world. You know, it's a mix of business and bullshit, and you know fun and fuckery so yeah that's definitely a good place to get to know me <laughs> so you guys hear that ashlyn ray r-a-e you can catch her on facebook do you have a youtube channel so i do have a youtube channel but it's all like it's all brown girls business stuff so but yeah i am on there oh i have this oh by the way i'm on instagram under um boss babe shade room where i talk complete cash shit about <laughs> about terrible business people and that one is super funny so nice. yeah. <laughs> you know i i i kind of want to get on your instagram right now and see like some of the stuff that you uh, talk about. It's so fun. I just a Friday and I just sit there and just like rip it up. Like, <laughs> so what, like you visit businesses and then you're like, fuck that, I'm gonna talk shit about them? Well, I don't call out any specific business, more just like think, like acts and behaviors I've seen throughout the week. And it's mm -hmm. like, I'm about to call y'all on this bullshit. And I just like go in. It's, it's, it's like a cross between you learn something, but it's really funny, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so wait. Let I'm 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 on my phone because I want to get onto your uh, Instagram. What what is it? The one that I was just talking about is Boss Babe Shade Room, and it's like Boss Boston Babe word. Shade Room. Yeah, it's only like maybe 10 or 15 posts up there. And so I, I logged off of it for a while because I was really working on um, the things I have going on in my business because that was just for fun. And so recently someone looked at it and they're like, why are you not doing this anymore? And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I'm going back to it starting this week. So I'm going to liven that back up again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent. I just requested you on the Instagram. Awesome. Okay. I may be able to just didn't have to request me. Let me see. No, I think I, I just hit follow. Just hit follow. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. it should be good for you to just follow it. So like what what is the typical issue that like say a woman would come to you and then you would just be like, you know what, that shit is bullshit. Um the people who really say that people don't support me. Because if you're waiting for people to support your business, that's a fucking charity. That's not a business. Um, <laughs> you need to be able to be clear about who communicate who you work with and why. Um, the other thing is the ones who are like, oh, I tried this for like a whole three weeks and it's not working. Like, bye, Felicia. Like, you tried it for three weeks. Are you kidding me? Like, it's business. You have to like keep going. It, it, it doesn't happen overnight. 
Um, I get a lot of those. And, and I think that comes from people who are um, offering false wishes, like, you know, oh, make a hundred thousand dollars in 90 days. Like, the fuck? no. Um, how about you use the first 90 days to figure out what you even want to do? There's so much trial and error in business. And I think people are just kind of set up for the okie doke, you know? Um, but yeah, mostly when people come to me with the whole, oh, I've tried this for this amount of time and it's not working, or people aren't supporting me, or I, I, I really did try this. I work all day. And it's like, but have you done the stuff that makes you money? Or are you just sitting behind your computer, computer making Canva graphics? Because there's a big difference between that. Um, <laughs> you got to like get out on these internet streets and get this money. Like you can't just wait for people to come to you when nobody knows who you are. So that's, that's, those are the main things that I hear like so much. Or I don't have time. That one too. That one too. <laughs> well, well, who has time, right? Exactly. Like, yeah, we we, we all say that. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, I'm a mother of five. Do I have the time? <laughs> you know, it's so funny. I have a client who has five children as well. And when I see her kick ass, like how you do and how she, it's like none of these heifers have any reason ever for an excuse. <laughs> like, are you kidding me right now? They have five children. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, mine's are all like grown. The last one is seventeen, waiting for him. Really? Yeah, so I'm good here, you know. I did my bid. I know that's right. I know that's right. But um, yeah. So, guys, if you have questions for Ashlyn, you know, definitely hit us up. People are saying dual action. Chance, get off my post. He's like, fix your dang hair. Mind your business. Like, go somewhere. Go watch regular television. Get off my oh post. My He's a pain in my butt. <laughs> um, yeah. So Elaine was commenting about the toys and stuff and, you know, how she she likes them as well. Um. So... We have this thing called Masturbating Mondays. Do you really? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, where we go, we tell everyone they should, you know, definitely have an orgasm prior to leaving. I think people should have orgasms in the morning because then they would be nicer during the day. What do you feel about that? You know, that's probably a good point. I never do it. I'm not going to lie. It's usually at the end of the night. But I feel like I might be a little happier. See, here's the thing. I haven't had living penis for a very long time. And so I forget about that part. <laughs> However, um, I think that's a good point. Like, isn't it like the equivalent of like going to work out and your adrenaline's pumping and your endorphins are high and that kind of thing? I was I was nicer when I had living penis in the house. I was. But even but even if you masturbate prior, you know, even if you don't have a living well, penis, see, no. in the here's the difference though. The dick in my back is the alarm. That's the wake up, right? That's the difference. If I on my own, it's like, oh shit, I got work, I got this. Like it doesn't go off like, oh, you know what I mean? So I think I need to set an alarm that says that. Yeah, you should, sh you gotta set your phone and for it to talk to you like a video recording for every Monday or every morning. Masturbate before you leave. <laughs> And I think that I think that the energy would be super, super, super amazing. I think you're right. I think I'm gonna give it a try just for the fuck of it now. I feel like I should write a book about it. Like just absolutely, put it into absolutely, an and write a book about it. Right. I mean, you know, because sometimes the sheet slides between our legs and whatnot. So I mean, that should be an alarm, sorta. Of. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Absolutely. So I, I mean, I'm just kind of giving, you know, helpful hints. I would have never thought about it, but I think that, especially me, like, um, I'm, I'm like super high, all the, like super high energy all the time because of what I do. And <laughs> when I wake up, people are already in my fucking inbox needing help or questions or whatever. And I think that would ruin a very much nicer response. <laughs> Absolutely. I just, I think that people are like, nicer after sex like if you think about like when you had sex with your partner or your significant other yeah how nice for you after you had that orgasm so nice <laughs> right so i'm just saying like if if you know people masturbated on a daily basis how nice would the world be 
Um, I feel like, honestly, because I think that's where that whole term comes from, right? Like, when a chick's all uptight and they're like, oh, somebody needs to fuck her or she needs to fuck or whatever. Like, I'm pretty sure um, that's where that comes from. Because, <laughs> I mean, like, our whole world is turned happy. Like, you could be mad as hell and then you get some and it's like, Woo! <laughs> So are you are you like a girly girl? Or are you into like heels and all that fun stuff and dressing up? I think that I am a perfect mix of I'll kick your ass and fuck them dress. Um, <laughs> oh, I like, I'll, like it. a regular day. I'll just wear Chucks or whatever, Chuck Taylors and you know jeans or tights or something. But when I go out, I want my heels, I want my dresses. I'm like super like, you know, girly, sexy, whatever. And I just kind of roll with that. On a regular day, no, you're not gonna catch me in heels. Back in the day, you probably would have. But now that I work for myself, it's I don't, you know, I'm not going to like an office or whatever. So I'll put on some Chuck Taylors, I run out the door with some ripped jeans and I'm good. Yeah. So this is what you do all day? Yes, um, all day. Like I'm either emailing, writing messages, working with clients, or um, doing my live streams for my various um, groups and stuff, yeah. Very nice. So can you, again, let our clients know and our, our viewers on YouTube and on Facebook here, because the video is going to be shared since we had a delay. I understand. Um, yeah. So if you could just remind them where you are, what you do, what services you offer, um, let, okay. let them know. Yeah, so, okay, again, I'm Ashley Ray. I'm the Bullshit Bully and the ringleader of the Brown Girls Billionaire Gang. Um, on the Ashley Ray side, I help my clients create, organize, and monetize a movement. So any, any socialpreneur who wants to create positive impact in their community and they want to create a movement out of that and build a lifestyle business, that's what I do on my one-on-one -on -one side. And then on the Brown Girls Billionaire Gang side, it's a multimedia and educational platform that teaches um, women who are new to business how to kind of navigate the digital online space, you know, and learn the basics to start monetizing their business. Even if they don't have branding, even if they don't have a website, even if they don't know what the fuck a landing page is, I teach them all of that stuff. And um, Brown Girls Leaner Gang as a whole is literally, it's, it's, a, it's a movement. It's a tribe. It's a community where women can work together and help one another and support each other without fucking dragging our eyes out and talking shit about each other. We actually work together and build one another up. And so um, it's really been, it actually took on a life of its own. At first it was just supposed to be me highlighting other women in business and it just took a life of its own. And now it's a membership site and it's a blog and it's a TV show. We had a summit last week where we interviewed 25 women who quit their jobs and, um, they told us their story of transition. And so it's, it's, it's become something more than I ever dreamed of, honestly. That is super amazing. Your energy is just, just like so dope. Thank you. <laughs> like super, super dope. Like I'm really enjoying your energy. It's it's just amazing. Thank guys, you. It's the balance of the like, sexiness you got on the other side of the screen because I'm like, she is so like sexy, sexy and like sensual and like just it's like so oozing off of you. And I'm like, I'm oh, hype. <laughs> well, thank you. We I have this thing. I, I'm a heels girl like all day, every day kind of girl. So I have to show my shoe of the day, which I actually wore um, last week. Uh, and usually on Tuesdays live, what we do is we broadcast my show. So oh, okay. I'm all my sexiness for real, for real right now. I know <laughs> so if you don't mind, can I show my shoe? Yes. I'm trying to find this on your page so I can share it. It's the spoken oh. word, right? Um, what the video? Your 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 um spoken word poetry isn't that your Facebook page? No, that that's uh Nicole. She markets for us. She's amazing. Oh, um, okay. I was trying to share it. Where do I share it from? Um, do you have the Monica S Martinez page? I, I'm about to find it right now. All right. Yeah, let, let's let's link up on that real quick. Hold on. Let me see. Okay, I found it just now. I'm going to share it. Yeah, and I'm going to share um, your information as well. And we're going to have the videos posted. Okay, there we go. I just requested you um, somewhere. So I'm going to have the video posted. We're going to kind of do that like 
you know, during the week and stuff, we'll put it back up as soon as this is done. We'll, you know, share share it on YouTube and vice versa and all that fun stuff. Absolutely. So let's shoe of the day. I've been working out, girl. Has not. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see. Can, can you see this dress? Wait, you have to turn on my light over here. All right. So, see this? Let's see. Can you see the shoe yet? Maybe I have to come over here. Oh, those are super cute. Right? Aren't they cute? Yes. Those are super cute. I love the flowers. Yeah. Are the flowers on the back, too? Huh? Yeah. Like a pattern. Oh, okay. I see it. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's really dope. All right. That's all I had to do. All right, guys, I hope you all can see that I've been working out really good. You those guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But that I think those are from the, um, you know, heels. I've been in heels. heels. Yeah, since I'm like 16. Oh, uh, my I, goodness. Yeah, I've been I've been working out for like five weeks. I go to a trainer in the Bronx over here in New York. He's oh, dope. Okay, okay. Yeah, so. Um, Thank you, Evelyn. They're sharing videos. Everyone's sharing our videos. Yeah, I, I just told my whole squad, like, share the video, share the video. Yeah, we just, um, they're sharing them as well here. And Dillis, uh, again, will share it. So no worries there. So tell, tell our viewers again, one more time, your favorite toy of all time. If you got stuck somewhere, like if you had to be stuck on an island, well, if I get stuck on an island, I'm definitely going to choose a dual action toy because I won't have arms and legs. So <laughs> <laughs> I need something with, um, I need like G-spot and clitoral stimulation at the same time. So something that's like curved and then something <gasps> with something going on with the clit. Yeah, definitely dual action, whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> <laughs> so something like the Osaki. Are you familiar with the Osaki? No, what is the Osaki? Osaki is, is a dual stimulator uh, vibrator. And you can bend him, actually. And he still twirls, which is so amazing because he can hit all areas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you got to check him out, the Osaki. Okay. Definitely. Um, I'm getting text messages. So I just kind of want to look at the text message because it may be a question for you. Yes. They want to know when you started your movement. Um, so I actually started it. The idea came up December 2016. No shit. And in the last six months or I guess seven months now, it's like turned into something else. <laughs> like it just it, it was something that I just really had on my heart because I wanted a, I, I just really wanted a, a business that my my employees and my staff and my team were like family versus numbers. And um, I don't know what happened with that, but it sparked something in people that it just it, it was contagious. And, you know, we just help one another out. And it's 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 literally been just spreading ever since. So only we're, we're only six or seven months old. That's it. That I've been so in business longer than that, but the movement's only been six or seven months old. <laughs> that is so, so dope. So so then with your friends, you're just, you call them on their bullshit, like, right away. Yeah, like, you can't, it's not fair. Like, you can't call me and ask me for an answer, and you don't expect to get, like, a straight answer. So it's kind of like this disclaimer I have that I don't have to be, like, I don't have to sugarcoat. Now, it doesn't mean that I don't have compassion, because I do, but but you can't tell me that you have this thing, this problem. And we, if you're not really ready to deal with it, then I'm not the person to like contact about it, I guess. <laughs> so, okay. I want to say that my, my mom, um, never taught us how to lie. So I don't really sugarcoat things. So I think that I too am a lot for to handle with people because like I, I say what it is, how it is and how I feel about it. And I'm, you know, I'm sorry that your feelings get hurt, but what do you want me to lie to you? Right. 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 So right. She, what? Yep. She does call me on my bullshit. Oh, mm -hmm. Dilla says you call her on the bullshit. <laughs> Nice, very nice. 
But yeah, so it's sort of like that, right? So it's sort of like, don't call me if you want to hear a lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a hard time with that. And I feel like most of the time we really know the answer to our own stuff. It's just, we want to be babied. We want somebody to agree with us. But honestly, if you just sit there for a second and ask yourself, why do I feel this way? Or what is the real root of this problem? You do have the answer. You know, it, it's just not maybe an answer that you want, but you do. You do have the answer. So this can roll over to not just businesses, but relationships in essence. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It sucks a little bit because um, I do know myself so well. And so even in relationships, I'll ask some shit and I'm like, I didn't really want to know that answer. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, like one of the things I've been noticing is like, I've been complaining about having like attracting people who are basically like emotionally unavailable. And then I realized that I'm actually emotionally unavailable. <laughs> and so <laughs> it's not really them. It's definitely me. Well, it's probably a little bit of them too, but, but I'm attracting what I am, you know? And I had to like come to terms with that. So I've been working on it, but it took me a little minute to realize, oh shit, I'm, I am intentionally dealing with people who are emotionally unavailable so that I don't have to deal with mine, you know? So it definitely rolls over into other areas of your life. <laughs> nice. Now, do you, do you do that with your clients as well? Do you bring, like, do they bring you relationship stuff as well? Um, I think the only time that any other areas of their life comes into our conversation is if it is a direct impact to their business life. I mean, not that the, like nothing is really like off, nothing is off limits, but if you're, if you're, we generally keep it to business, but if I can see that this relationship that you have or this thing that you've got going on with this friend or whatever, if I can see that that's what's spilling into your progress, I will address it. Okay, excellent, excellent. So, again, if you don't mind telling the viewers, because we're going to come to an end on the show. Okay. Um, I still haven't eaten dinner or cooked, thanks to the computer. Oh, my God. Yeah, and I have to get some kind of protein in me because I'm starving. <laughs> Understood. I um, you guys, again, I'm Ashlyn Ray. You can find me at Ashlyn, A-S-H-L-A-N, Ray, R-A-E, on Facebook. Um, there's the Brown Girls Billionaire Gang Facebook fan page. There is the official trap house for Brown Girls in Business. Uh, that's our free Facebook group. And then I'm also on Instagram under the same. So Ashlyn Ray, the brand, official, um, I'm sorry, Brown Girls Billionaire Gang for Instagram, as well as Boss Babe Shade Room. So I have lots of ways to contact me. Um, but... Other than that, like, just come fucking hang out and have a good time. Like, we're all about having a good time. We're all about, you know, getting these coins, securing this bag, and being boss as fuck. So if you're down with that, then you are welcome to join. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, guys? She's so awesome. Definitely check her out. Her energy is just... Like, you just make me want to go through the screen and just hug you. I'm going to get to meet you hopefully soon. I'll be in New York in a couple weeks, so hopefully I'll get to meet you. Good. You know what? We we got all these people coming into New York, so hopefully we can all get together and do, like, maybe an event. So I have to talk with Dillis about that because yeah. I believe, I believe um, Jess Brannis is coming into town. Um, and if it happens to be around the same time you're coming, this that would be so dope. That'd be so cool. dumb. Yes. We, we could all get you know, together you know, and like the queen of creating events. So I'm sure she can make it happen. <laughs> Absolutely. Dillis, you hear that? Like, come on. We got to get it together. I want to meet you. So when you definitely come to New York, like, I'm going to inbox you my number and stuff as well. Okay. Um, but when you get here, definitely, I will add. I would love to hang out with you and just, you know, pick your brain. Yeah. I, I, I've been whining a little bit. I told Dylan, I said, all these damn issues that we're having with Facebook and Be Live, I'm about to be like, F this. I don't want to be bothered. It was so funny because I was like, man, I already had Hennessy. By the time I get on here, I'm going to be fucking drunk. I was like, I better get <laughs> Yo, you don't even understand the nonsense that has been happening since the beginning of this. Like, you know, the first show, of course, went off without a problem, right? Right. right. But after that, it's like, 
YouTube, the Google Hangouts didn't want to act right. It was acting up. And it was it's just been like week after week. Like last week, I was all frustrated. I was like, F this. I don't want to do it. I'm just so oh, annoying. Yeah. Oh, you gotta keep on pushing because I tell you what, <laughs> technology is dope until it doesn't work. However, once we get over those humps, it's awesome. So just keep <laughs> on, keep on, keep it on. I've had so many technical glitches, it's not even funny. Seriously. Oh, Dillis says she's working on it for us. So that that's dope. Thank you, Dillis. Yeah, awesome. she 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 already she called me on my bullshit. She was like, You gotta give it time. You can't give up. And I'm just like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. You're not the one who's frustrated week after week. Well, she is because I, I'm, you know, inboxing her like. Da, 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 da. So, oh my goodness, it's so funny. It is. It's hilarious. I, I told her today. I was like, I have to laugh because I turned on the computer at 7:45, and boom! What happened? All the updates decided to happen. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I about 8.25, you know, make sure I wasn't late. And I was like, 8.40, I'm like, are you sure this is what I'm supposed to be? She's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. So then 8.45 comes, I'm like, all right, I don't know what's going on. Let me go ahead and log off and let me know, you know, get it together. <laughs> and she's like, we're having technical. I said, you know what? I understand that. Like, I, I legit have had so many, like, technical problems. I was like, whatever. Just let me know when you're good and I'll be ready. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's been a, it, it's been great once we get the guests on because all of you guys are all amazing and the interviews, you know, it's it's moments like this that says t tells me no, you got to keep doing it because yep. people like you, you know, your energy comes on and it's just the interviews once it's going, it's super amazing. So you know that makes me wanna just go ahead and push forward, but it's so frustrating when when it's happening you know Absolutely. I, I definitely dig it i definitely dig it well i thank you i thank you for joining us and um giving us your time and i apologize for all the issues that we had earlier thank you for having me on seriously i'm always amazed when people let me on i'm like you better let me talk in public yes <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, hopefully, hopefully, um, if we get your dates, like, um, maybe, maybe we can even do like, um, something, Dillis, like a showcase where we invite a bunch of women, you know, to come and join and meet you in person and, you know, Absolutely. We'll talk shit together. Let's talk shit together. <laughs> You talk shit about, you know, that kind of stuff. You call people on their bullshit and I'll talk shit up in the bedroom. So it yes. work. Let's do it. <laughs> awesome. it work. Thank you for having me on, honey. You make sure you get that protein in you now. You're doing all them workouts. We don't need you passing out with your cute ass. <laughs> for real. I mean, like on the floor, dead. <laughs> but thank you again, Ashlyn. And guys, thank you for joining us week after week after week. We really appreciate your support. And Dillis will share this video out and we'll have, you know, all social medias, you know, okay. touch base on this. So thanks again, Ashlyn. And everyone, have a great night. Happy coming. We'll see you soon. Bessels. Bye. Bye. Bye.